Yo, with the deal, YouTube, this your man Frank Dutch right here, man. I'm back at y'all with another video, man. And uh, I think um, maybe about a year or so ago, I did a video where I talked about how you can export stems out of Pro Tools, but keep all of your all of your effects and all of your processing effects and everything, all of your plugins and all of that type of stuff. Now, although the way I did it in that video, that's a dope way. And if you're using an older version of Pro Tools, that's perfect. That should work perfectly fine but here's a new faster way to do it on the new version of Pro Tools. Alright so I'm gonna play how it sounds before I do anything to it. Um, I got all of my effects processing on the actual uh, track. I don't recommend putting like time based effects like reverbs and stuff like that, delays and stuff like that on, on the actual channel but you know if you if you do that type of thing it'll make it that much easier to do what I'm doing here you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna play it check it out. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna fast forward to the to the actual instrument. I mean to the acapella part. Listen to the acapella. Two grams in the back will have zone my sack good. All right, so you can tell that I got all of my reverb on, and you can you can hear it. You can hear everything that I got processed. Uh, two grams in the back will have zone my sack good. I got my reverb right here. That's coming through my lead channel. All right, so you see that that's the actual um, vocal. You know what I'm saying? You see that's the actual vocal right there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually show you how to keep all of that. What you do is you want to highlight everything. And once you highlight everything, you want to right click on everything that you selected and go down to commit. Now, once you click commit, you want to go to the commit drop down box and make sure it says edit selection. Then you want to make sure it says consolidate clips because you want it all to be one long piece. You want to copy and render all of your, keep all of that stuff clicked. If you don't see it, click, click it. What's not clicked, don't click it. You know what I mean? Uh, you definitely want to click this drop down box right here and make sure you hide inactive so you won't be confused. Have it go offline and click OK. And once you click OK, give it the time it needs to render and everything. And um, this is going to be um, around maybe a few minutes for me, a couple minutes for me. But it's going to be literally seconds for you. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, when I snap my fingers, you will be at the end of this render. All right, so once it's done rendering, the screen should look like this. You should have uh, several tracks of stems. You know what I'm saying? And um, basically what I'm going to do is right here to prove to you that everything is there, I'm going to solo the vocals, man. And I'm going to show you. Listen for the reverb. Uh, two grams in a backwood. Halves on my sack good. Going back to Cali like big for the weed. Hit the dispensary, big buzz, no seeds. Blowing in the whip, bitch. Now as you can see, that's the actual audio file that actually has the reverb and the time-based effects on it. Now, what you can actually do with that from this point, you can highlight everything again, right-click on it, and go over to your clip list and export the clips as tracks and put them things in a folder, man, and there you go. You got your stems right there. Like, pretty much the same exact, you know, finishing steps as uh, the previous video had. But, you know, way more simpler, a lot less time. You don't got to do no routing or none of that stuff. Just make sure um, any of your effects that you want to use, um, whether they be time-based or, um, you know, regular uh, compressor processing effects or whatever, um, have those on the actual channel. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you'll be good to go. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit that bell so you can stay up on everything Apex Music and Media, man. And uh, follow us on Instagram at Apex Music and Media. This your man Frank Dutch right here, man. I'm out, man. I hope this video helped y'all. All right, peace. Uh, two grams in the back wood. Have zone, my sack good. This some good shit right here. K Carter on the beat. This that. This that bomb shit. West side. Uh, West side. <laughs>